Hey guys! So today we're going to be doing the second part of the Harry Potter tutorials. The first one will be linked below and I'll link it at the end of the video as well. And that was the Slitherclaw video. So that was Slytherin on one side of my sister's face and Ravenclaw on the other. Today, as you can see, we're doing Gryffindor on one side and Hufflepuff on the other. So if you want to see how I got this look and this look, keep watching. So we're actually going to start on the eyes today because last time I didn't start on the eyes and there was quite a lot of fallout and I had to bake under the eyes to avoid that and brush it away and you know, the drill. So this time we're going to be starting with the eyes so I'm just going to zoom you in. First I'll be doing the Gryffindor side. Um, so I'm just going to prime with the NYX eyeshadow base. Next, I'm going to use the Shanxo palette in collaboration with BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to use the pale, like nude shade here to set all over the eye. Now I'm going to use my I Love Makeup Chocolate and Peaches palette. And I'm using these two colours at the bottom as transition shades. I'm kind of bring it out a bit further than I usually would. Going with the Shan XO palette again, I'm going to take this red colour. Next, I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to pack Cherry Cordial on the outer third of the eye. I'm first just placing the colour. And then going in with my fluffy brush to blend out. I'm now taking this shimmery red colour from the Chocolate and Peaches palette and I'm going to do the same thing on top of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar colour that we've just put on the outer third. Next I'm going to intensify that shimmer by packing Amaretto from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette on top. And I'm going to deepen the crease using Black Forest Truffle. Now we've got our smoky red colours down, it's time to focus on the gold aspect of Gryffindor House. I'm going to start with this Lush Eye Jewel, and it's the gold colour. So I'm actually just going to scrape off the top to get some fresh product underneath and then warm it up in the palm of my hand. And I'm just using my broken nail to place that on the inner third of my eye. And that creamy base is really gonna make the golds that we're going to put on top really pop. So the first gold I'm placing down is from the Makeup Revolution of Fortune Favorites and Brave palette. And I'm gonna take this color here. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put a little caption of it. So I'm just going to be packing that on top of the Lush product that we've just put on the inner third. Since that's quite a dark and rich gold colour, I'm going to take creme brulee from the chocolate bar palette. Place it just in here. I'm kind of creating a subtle cut crease type look. I'm also going to put a little bit of that creme brulee on the brow bone. And since Gryffindors are known for being quite daring, I'm going to add some of this dust and dance glitter. It's the gold. Flex that 
kind of look like foil, but not quite gold foil. Now I'm just going to do a wing with my tattoo liner. And to make it even more dramatic, I'm going to be using my Lush liquid liner in Fantasy. And now I'm just going to move on to this side of the face before finishing the eyes. So I'm going to take the Benefit Professional Primer. Uh, mine's a bit dirty at the moment because uh, I took it on holiday and my nail varnish decided to explode all over it. So I'm just going to put that all over my face, especially in the T-zone where I get black hairs and uneven skin. So I'm going to distribute it all over my face. And then I'm just tapping it in. Now because Gryffindor and Hufflepuff both have sort of yellow and gold in them, I'm going to take Lush Feeling Younger, which is a sort of gold highlighter, and I'm going to use it before foundation to give myself a kind of golden glow. Now that I've got my pre-glow on, I'm going to use the Fit Me foundation by Maybelline, and I'm in the shade 120, although this is my summer shade, so I might be a bit too pale for it now that my tan's worn off. Yep, it's a bit too dark, but I'm just going to blend it into my ears and my neck. This is the perfect summer foundation because on me it's quite light and buildable. The coverage is probably like medium coverage, but you can really make it work for the summer. It doesn't sweat off of you. Once it's dried down, it's dried down and you've set it with your powder and really using the Urban Decay setting spray, all nighter setting spray. It just makes the world of difference. And yeah, this foundation is just a great match for my routine in the summer. Oh, can you see that difference? <laughs> this is the kind of foundation I wear when I want like light-ish, medium coverage, but I want a really lightweight, um, really small amount of product on my face. Now, since I've got quite prominent uh, dark circles under my eyes. I'm going to be using the quite heavy coverage Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer by Maybelline. And I'm going to leave the other side until we've done the eyes on the other side. I'm just kind of using this to clean up underneath that eyeshadow. On the nose, my smile lines. Oh, sorry, my camera cut out, but I basically just put it on the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose as well, and a bit here as well. And I was just saying that a lot of people have been using the trick to let your concealer dry down a little bit, but you obviously don't want to wait too long before blending it in case you get like lines where the concealer stop basically. So I'll be using a new finishing powder today. It's the NYX finishing powder, HD one. And I've got like a really pale colour, hopefully it will correct my foundation which is too dark for me at the moment. It's supposed to be translucent so hopefully it doesn't make me powder white. Although that would be useful for Halloween. Let me know in the comments below any ideas you guys have for your Halloween costumes. Halloween is my favourite holiday ever. I'm just going to put it all over my face including under my eyes see how it performs. cat's scratching at my door. This powder isn't the most finely milled that I've ever used, but it seems to be doing okay so far. Looks a tiniest bit cakey, but I think it's the same amount as you would get with any other powder, apart from really, really high performing ones like the Kat Von D finishing powder thing, I think it's called. That is very finely milled and it's just amazing. It just goes like amazing on the skin. It doesn't make you cakey or anything. It's really good. Next we're going to be bronzing up quite intensely on the Gryffindor side. Because when I think of Gryffindor, I think of warm colours, you know, gold, red, you know, fire. I think that bronzing up a lot is going to really pull the look together. So I'm just using my, oh it's rubbed off, but it's the MUA Shimmer Bronzer I think it was called. And it's 
bronzer is very, very warm, so I don't really have to put that much of it on. And I'm going to use my usual Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. I know I used this in like every video. Do you guys like mind suggesting me some brands for like contour powders, even cream contours? Like, I really need to branch out, to be honest. <laughs> So let me know like the, the contour products that you guys use. Before I go and check them out. Now I'm just gonna do a sort of strong brow, um, but I'm gonna wisp it up at the end. The symbol is a lion, of course, and I just think about lion manes, like messy, Gryffindors are quite brave, maybe sometimes reckless. So I'm going to sort of mess up the front of the brow but then keep a strong brow at the end. And for that I'll be using my trusty collection brow kit thing. Work the colour eyebrow kit. And now I'm just going to use the little gel that comes with it and fluff up the front of the brow. Next we're going to finish underneath the eye, so I'm just going to take these two colours from the Shanoxo palette. And I'm going to add a little bit of this dark colour right underneath the lash line. Next up I'm using the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Punch, which is this yellow. And I'm going to tight line with the same uh, Colourpop Cream Gel Liner but in Swirl. And I'm using the Hypnos Drama Mascara by Lancome. And then I'm going to use the Unicorn Lashes in Unicorn Flutter. Okay, now the lashes are finally on, we can move on to highlighting, which is my favourite part. So I'm going to start with a bit more Feeling Younger blush. Gradually tapping that in. But we're not stopping there, we're going to put some Makeup Revolution Vivid Bait Highlighter in Golden Lights. It's just going to pick up really well on top of that cream base. Time raising those. And what I love about it is that it's not only is it an amazing gold highlighter, but it's also not too dark for my skin tone, which is actually quite pale for someone who's warm toned. And there we have the Gryffindor look. Now we're going to move on to the Hufflepuff side. Apologies for the lighting change. I thought you might be able to see this side a little bit better just with the lights rather than natural light as well. Because it's casting kind of a shadow on this side of my face. So I'm going to begin on the eyes the same way as I did for this side with the NYX eyeshadow base. and setting it with the light colour on the Shanoxo palette. Next I'm taking this yellow colour into the crease. And it's actually coming off a little orangey. So I'm going to take my Morphe 35C palette and take that true bright yellow colour. Oh my goodness. 
that was way more pigmented than I was expecting. So I'm just blending it over top, just blending it down onto the outer corner. So I'm going to take this light grey. And actually I've just decided to make this a halo eye. <laughs> so I'm going to pack some yellow on the centre. And then I'm going to take my grey, put it in the outer corner and also the inner corner. Blending up into the crease with that grey and then connecting the two sides. And adding grey is a bit of a shock to these colours so I'm starting off really light and with a quite pale grey. Now I'm just packing it on, placing the grey colour and again blending it. And now we're going to deepen it up using this very dark grey colour here. We're going to be really careful where we place this. So thanks to my camera you didn't get that again but um, I basically blended that dark grey colour where we've put the light grey but slightly more localised to the outer V and the centre of that light grey colour if that makes sense. So the light grey colour is blended out a bit further and then the dark grey is on the centre of where the grey is going. Okay. I'm just going to re-intensify that yellow and we're going to be putting some of that lush fantasy liner right here on the centre of the lid and then we're going to tap the edges blend we're going to add a touch of silver using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette in a star and I'm literally just going to place this on the inner corner and also the brow bone now we're going to do the rest of the face. So we've already done primer, we've used some of this Feeling Younger and we've also used the Fit Me Foundation. So now I'm just going to use a lighter concealer, the Rimmel Wake Me Up and brighten under the eyes. I'm just covering up a few blemishes, let it dry down a little bit. But as I said earlier, you've really got to be careful that it doesn't dry down so that these lines set in place. Now I'm just going to set that the same way with the NYX powder. And I'm just going to use the Hoola bronzer to create a subtle contour slash bronzed look. Now I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter and Golden Lights. However, I'm going to be using a much lighter hand than I have on the other side to give a sort of golden feel to the skin. But then I'm actually going to take Star again and apply that in a much more concentrated area in the high points. Give it a cool contrast and a sort of duochrome look. Now to finish off the eyes, we're going back in with the Xanaxo palette in that orangey yellow colour and also some of that darker grey from my Morphe palette. I'm also going to be using the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Punch on this side. And I'm using that same Hypnos Lancome Mascara, but I'm using the Ardell 105 Lashes Natural. Now I'm just going to add a little pop of blush and I'm using Natural Collection Blush Cheeks. And I'm actually going to put this on both sides. And to jazz up the Hufflepuff side a little bit, I'm going to add a few Silver Stars by Dustin Dance. side I'm going to use the NYX liquid suede in vintage then ombre it with kitten heels
And on the other side, I'm going to be creating a chrome lip using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Weirdo, which is the black one. And then topping it with that star highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonshell Palette. And that, guys, is the finished look. So thanks for watching guys, once again the previous video of the Harry Potter tutorials on Slytherin and Ravenclaw will be linked in the description and also at the very end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me create these looks. Please tag me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter if you're going to recreate these looks because I'd love to see. Feel free to use these for like Halloween or even an everyday look if you like. Uh, party look, anything like that. Like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one.